doing defensively that was kind of keeping you from being able to get over the hump there? Yeah, you know, I, I think there's a lot of things. First, they're a very good defensive team. They're very physical. Um, next, I think, you know, both teams are a little bit tired. You know, we played, um, you know, a very short um, roster of guys tonight. And they played a lot of minutes, and we got a little bit tired. That's why I called a timeout that one stretch to try to give our guys some rest for offense. And then third, and we had a couple shots go in and out. You know, Matt Ryan had some good looks. Aaron East with that three go in and out. Um, you know, if we're getting open shots and uh, for our shooters, you know, we're pleased with that. For us, um, Simi got the ball at the top. A lot of times it looked like you were trying to create with him. Uh, couldn't finish at the rim. Looked like he was dipping under guys. What do you want to see differently out of him when he drives the ball? You know, I, I thought he um, did a really good job, you know, especially passing in the first half. You know, he really shrunk the defense, made some nice passes to open shooters. Um, you know, obviously they have a lot of length, and so they bring that second defender at him. And that's just something we have to work on. You know, he's a, he's a freshman that was off for seven months, had no offseason, no preseason. And, you know, that's something that he can really do to, to get his game better. Um, if he finishes like that, you know, he'll be really hard to defend on those elbows. Bryce uh, Williams had 43 against you guys at Nashville. Did you guys do anything differently, or how do you account for holding him to 14? Well, you know, I, I think, you know, obviously Adam had some big shots second half, uh, Turner had some big ones first half. So there's other options that they can go through. They don't have to play through him, you know, every time down. Obviously in the second half they started to go to him more. Uh, we tried to change up our coverages a couple different ways just to try and let, not let him get comfortable. But, you know, it was more good. You know, some of our guys were just being physical and making hit tough shots over the top. Anything else you guys say? Given Tennessee pretty much everything he can handle twice, but still has 14 straight losses. As these losses pile up the adversity, how do you kind of stay upbeat and keep the season kind of, from kind of getting away from the rest of the players? Yeah, you, you know, I, I think you saw it out there. You saw the character of these guys. You saw how hard they fight. And, um, you know, losing is not fun. You know, it brings out the worst. Uh, but, you know, we're building something here. And, um, you know, this, this is probably going to be the lowest point. You know, obviously, but we got a great group of guys that, that are fighting, and we only have one senior. So these guys are all going to be back next year, and we can't wait for a great offseason and get started uh, for next year when the season's done. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Uh, well, we held them under 42% again, uh, which is uh, the third game in a row, so that's our defensive goal. Uh, we were in the game with the lab with four minutes left to go, down by four. Just uh, one on a dry spell, couldn't execute on offense, couldn't get easy bucket. So. You've seen you guys use Simi in different ways this year. It looks like tonight he was starting to get the ball to the top of the key, trying to create. Is that something you are trying to do with him? Uh, well, that's just something he's always been able to do. It just seems like he's getting his mojo back a little bit, starting to get more comfortable, a little more confident. So it's good to see him play like that. And if he continues to play like that, it's just so much better for us. You held their offense in check pretty much the whole way, particularly early in the second half, but you can never cut it down below four, the deficit. What were they doing defensively that was keeping y'all off balance, and keeping you from getting over the hump there? Um, I guess it'd be a combination of them denying the high post pass, which, uh, which we were trying to do a lot, and it was just this lack of executing. So uh, when we did get the pass there, we just sort of would uh, lackadaisically cut, or somebody would forget the time. So I mean, it was just poor execution in the end. Obviously, the losing streak is what it is. How do y'all kind of? Keep motivated, keep keep focused for the rest of the season and everything with everything that's going on. Uh, just taking one game at a time. Uh, I mean, I've said before, we're not really like we're not down. We don't really look at the record. We're just going to each game, have uh, a separate game, separate opportunity to go out there and get a win. So, has it been a, a grind at this point? I mean, the, the travel, the losing, the competition. It's got. A, is it wearing you down, or are you, you feeling uh, no. so? I mean, it's not wearing me down because I'm having fun with it. I mean, if I if I didn't have fun playing the game of basketball, I wouldn't be here. So. Yeah. How do you react to a game like this? Is it, geez, just another loss, or hey, we uh, came this close against the number five team in the country? Uh, it's a ladder, ladder. Uh, I mean, you just gotta look at all the positives. You just every game you play, whatever you lose, you just gotta come out with positive energy, positive vibes, and learn from it and move on. Is that just something new? You guys are trying to add to the offense. You get the ball about 25 feet out. Uh, well, yeah, because like great brothers and two to four, all the most smart defenders and most of the guys on the floor. So. Uh, and I feel more comfortable up there also, so uh, I want to be playing inside and out, so uh, either way, we can help our team, hopefully, in the next uh, five years. I asked Coach about that, getting to the rim, and you made some good passes, set some guys up sometimes, couldn't finish a lot. Was it, you were getting double teamed in the paint, or you had to do some scoop shots under uh, some guys? Yeah, I just, I don't know, I was missing a couple shots I usually make, and then so I didn't get some calls, and then 
Yeah, this, the defense is collapsing, so so not to make a pass. Sometimes I just miss a couple, but uh, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow, maybe even tonight, and then uh, hope the next game some of those come back and uh, we'll help the next one. Next one do you feel like kind of what you do offensively is expanding as the year goes on? You had a couple hook shots in the post tonight. Are you trying to kind of add more? Um, yeah, we're working on that uh, in practice, and uh, I'll you know do that, but. Uh, uh, here the team needs me to do that stuff, uh, be in low post and uh, in the face up and just read the defense and maybe score or pass. So, uh, yeah, whatever the team needs, uh, I'll do it. Coming from high school to, to college, what's been the biggest challenge of scoring for you this year? Is it physicality? Is it the, coming off the ACL? What, what do you think the biggest uh, challenge is? Well, I didn't have a whole summer to work my game, but I'm not going to use that as an excuse. But, uh, Maybe just maybe the physicality is a little different. Bigger guys, and then guys game plan for me every game. So obviously I'm not gonna get every look I want, and uh, just gotta convert on certain looks, tough shots, and stuff like that. Just working with the practice and uh, be better next games. How tough has this year been for you? Not just the losing, but but individually adjusting to the game. And your numbers probably haven't been as as great as you would like them to have been. Uh, it's not really tough. It's a learning experience. Um, had a good first two months and uh, slowing down a little bit, but uh, some guys are getting better on our team and it's helping our team as well. Um, I'm getting better, I'm learning, and obviously losing sucks, but every game can be an opportunity.